Jude Childerly has a young Skywalker to work with. Sam Austin has joined the ranks of Childerly Sporting to help keep the game birds and, when needed, guide the deerstalking clients. And that is what this morning is all about. What's it like working for Childerly Sporting? Oh, it's the best. It's a dream. <laughs> As well as the force, Paul gives him a pair of Zeiss binos, a set of sticks and a Shooter King smock as it is falling down today. Um, Sam's done, done a bit of stalking before um, on a couple of states he's been on with Rowan and um, Munchak. He's guided a few of the family members and, and uh, a couple of the friends and bits and pieces and shot loads of deer himself so the bases are all there. Yeah. Without the pressure of paying clients, there's going to be some role play over the next two mornings to ensure safety, 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 and of course, stalking success. Catchy name for a series. Let's get on, Charles, if you don't do rain. Yeah, I know, it's the first time ever, I reckon. Paul has guided and been board, guided too many times to count, so knows the highs and the lows. Here are just a few of the things he wants Sam to remember. Hunt if you're hunting yourself and you've got a friend with you. What distance they're comfortable shooting out to? If they get in the, in the vehicle, no matter what, even if they tell you a hundred times it's safe, it's open, ask them to open the bolt, yeah. period. And it's up to you during the whole hunt is to keep your eye or ear on that safety catch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes you'll, you'll, you'll be up and uh, it presents a shot, safety catch comes off, then it runs round and you've got, they've got to put the gun back on the shoulder and just say, sit safe back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no one ever questions it. Oh yeah, sorry. And yeah, yeah. the amount of times that people do it, right, carrying a gun, you'll get some that will carry the rifle like this, um, which is fine when they're on their own, but obviously, like I say, it's unloaded. Okay. Um, but you'll get them, you'll be guiding you with the binoculars there, and they'll turn, and you'll end up having a, a muzzle right past your face. That's one. The other one is, they'll have it over the top of the shoulder. It's a heavy barrel rifle. Okay, and it's like this. And as they turn, the rifle will be, and you'll get a back of your head. I've had three near misses. Yeah, yeah but rifles have gone off and stuff. It's getting back to a lot of lives, more important than with an animal, basically. One rifle, client. If you just want to try it, try the trigger. Perfect. No yeah. yeah. Perfect. Ideal. There is a lot to think about as each client will need to be looked after in a different way. The skill is to meet the expectation of the client while making sure the stalk is enjoyable, successful and safe. Well, this morning's outing has been two out of the three as we haven't got a deer, but maybe Paul hasn't got the tuning right on his new call. Um, I bought it when we went to cross to um, Jagdenhunt in Germany. It's a Hubertus call, but it's a, a plastic one. I don't know yet, I'm still sort of like, it's the first time I used it. It's a bit, <whistles> sounds plasticky, isn't it? <whistles> I don't know, it'll be alright, we'll get, we'll get used to it. Same as anything, you get used to it. Um, wasn't really a fair test today because like, they weren't calling. Because um, it's wet, they're tucked up in the cover where we should be maybe tucked up home. Is he um, teaching you how to suck eggs or, or are you learning something on the hoof here? No, no, I mean, well, you never stop learning. I mean, I'm only young, so every little helps. Some of it already know, other bits, just little things, it's always quite helpful. Like to do with the clients he was talking about earlier. I've not actually done much professional client based stalking, so actually, like an insight into what they're like, just a heads up about certain aspects, um, is quite helpful just to ease into it when we do start stalking. The following morning Sam takes on the role of guide. It's a much nicer day and a much nicer start. See it? Get a bar then stop it. See it David? Park it. Wait. Hey! Let it come a bit more. Let it go another foot. So go for it all okay? So you'll go for the whole scenario. So, tell me to wait, <laughs> get it into clear where you think you could shoot it, you stop it yeah. and then I can hit the shot because it's in the clear. But you wait until you think it's ready, yeah. get ready to stop it, loud, try and neck shoot it. No. Sure, I can neck shoot it. Uh, no, 
weight for the chest. I'm experienced shot. Right, I'd rather you weight it for the chest. Okay, fair enough. You're in charge. I'm going to be clear in a second. As soon as he comes past that stinging nettle. Okay. Okay, cool. Take it. Take it. Go on, later. Hey! Woo! Hey! You David? Why do you think I hit it? It's high, it's like high shoulder. High, I don't know. I, I, I pulled off it when I... Yeah, high shoulder. High shoulder. Okay. Is it dead? Is it down? Yeah, it's on the ground. What do I do? Good shot. And, and no. Keep safety on. What? Load or unload? Uh, unload it. Sure? Then leave it loaded. That's <laughs> 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 yeah, good. That's why I asked you the question yeah, because, yeah, yeah. you know, right. So basically, always load, okay? Yeah. Until you go. There's a possibility you're going to get yeah, exactly. another one. Right? No. Nope. We get across there, even if it looks dead, you can get there and it can yeah. get up and go, okay? So, there's a couple of things. Obviously, you can see a reaction most of the time more than the person on the gun. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you'll know if it's heart shot, neck shot. Like you said, basically then it's high, high shoulder yeah. stroke, neck shot. The cover was so high. Yeah. And then this is a obviously a twenty-two to fifty. So, so we don't want to break up any bullets or anything. Obviously, I didn't want to go through the, the brush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so you'll see, you'll know the reaction roughly of the animal. So you'll say, okay, reload. A lot of the time they they won't reload, so you make sure they reload safety on. Yeah. Tell them go through that, and then when you're approaching an animal, you know if it's a good art shot, you you know you're pretty much guaranteed yeah, not yeah, be a, yeah. uh, a follow-up shot. Um, if it's a bad shot and they're not competent, just say yeah. I think it's best if I take the rifle. Yeah, yeah. Two reasons: one is you'll be more confident to shoot, you know, get an animal on the deck to save it getting away, yeah, yeah, yeah. and also the other reason is you'll know roughly where it's going to go to, and you'll know where the safety areas are because the animal will just run in any direction. It could run towards a footpath. Yeah, and if you're yeah. trying to tell a client not to shoot there, you can shoot there and they can't shoot yeah, there. It's impossible. Yeah, it so, yeah. With 11. Or, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so, but good. Okay, right, all over to you again. <laughs> I do like using a smaller caliber just for that reason. You haven't got the big boom and you, uh, and a big crack so you're not disturbing the whole area. And telling everyone you're around. Good job. Do you want to unload the rifle? So you congratulate them. Yeah. Well done, you said unload the rifle, put on safe. Um, so well done, good stuff. And that's when a lot of a lot of people um, they do because they just shot you know a lifetime yeah, buck or whatever, yeah, yeah. they get excited and grabbing the animal and the rifle's loaded. Perfect. Yeah, so what we've got here then, Sam? So it feels like a lean doe. Yep. Um, so, good one to take, because obviously you're not leaving pendant young. That's it. Um, got one about. Yep. Yes, yeah, so it's a young doe. Um, perfect. Perfect one to shoot. See, when she comes out, she's a small doe. So, if this was a gold medal muntjac buck, you've got to do your photograph because people come and they want to have a photograph of and I want a photograph of my animal. I quite enjoyed that stalk this morning. Lovely. So I want you to set it up on that any way you want. Yep. I'll leave it to you. And then I'll just give you a few sort of like tips on where to yep. where and what and how and what's a good look and not a good look and we'll let you do one first of all. A lot of pressure under Sam really one with a camera and one with me, because, you know, I'm super bloody <laughs> critical. Do the no, they bloody wouldn't, you know, it's a fair play to him. Um, you know, going, going under just like scrutiny. And the people that are watching it, you know, there's loads of things we all sort of like do and stuff. And, you know, it's easy to pick to, holes, basically. It's to learn to drive almost. It is, yeah, totally, drive, yeah. Then yeah. You're, you yeah. develop your own yeah. techniques. Technique, exactly, yeah. And, um, you know, it's very difficult, I'll say, for Sam this morning, but it was easier for him being the uh, the client last week than it was being the guide this morning, I think. 
but it's good. Under pressure, again, under pressure, he said some important things at the right time. When we got to the animal, I just about to interrupt him, and he said, make the rifle safe. So that, that was a really important thing. You know, he's in the animal, um, he waited, patient, looked at the animal, he knew what he was looking at. When I asked him what it was, young lean doe, simple. And as he does more, he'll get his own feel on the whole sort of experience of, of guiding people, really. Because at the moment he's thinking about safety first, so he wanted you to, to unload the rifle. Exactly. But then there's the whole sort of entertainment element where, congratulations. That's right, yeah, yeah. Come on yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> Happy Christmas. You've got your buck of a lifetime. Um, so yeah, it, it is. You sort of do all that, but in the background, your mind's ticking. You know, obviously for me, I've got other guides out and bits and pieces. So I'm thinking, you know, I hope they've done this. Hope they've locked the gate. Hope they're, you know, the client that went with him, you know, he, he, he wasn't that confident. Make, hope he shot the animal correctly. Um, the guy that I'm with, did he put it on safe? Yes, he did. Click, click. You know, all these things are running through your mind 100 mile an hour and you're so processing and making it a, a, a fun, a good experience for the guys as well. So it is, a, it is definitely an art. And the more you do, the more you get relaxed and the more you just, just go o over those you know, basic things every time you go out. With the animal down and the rifle safe, it's time to capture the moment. With Muntjac as well, it's quite nice if you get one on a tree stump, just to put the tail out. Yeah. Because a lot of these guys from Europe, you know, quite like to see the whole, yeah. And it gives them a you know, full shot of the whole, whole animal. Now Paul does take a good shot. His Instagram and Facebook posts are works of art, and David maintains he's taught him everything. No yeah, right. <laughs> Paul says he picked up quite a few tips from hunting in Africa, where they take this part of the job very seriously. I'm sure there's a couple of good ones. See, see when you're looking down, yeah, doesn't look quite as good as when you're down there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So do another one. And get even, get the thing yeah, even lower. Down, yeah, no, it's what I have to do on the belly. The key thing is angle of shot and not being afraid to direct the hunter. Arm down, head right, breathe in, that sort of thing. Coming closer. Show us your photograph, by the way. Here. No, I should do. <laughs> do you? Look <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh look, head sit touching in the middle. <laughs> Eventually Sam gets the shot Paul is looking for and is one step closer to becoming a Jedi stalking guide. For more information about Shooter King clothing, go to shooterking.co.uk. For Zeiss Sports Optics, go to zeiss.com. And Sacco Rifles, go to sacco.fi. Yeah, so if the wind's if the wind's coming that way.